everybody. I'm Kate Conroy. And I'm Vinny Sotelo. And this is Other People's Business, which is the podcast from the New Jersey Business and Industry Association, the largest statewide business association in the United States of America. I remember a few episodes ago, and maybe it was last episode, you were talking about how much you hated saying all that every time. I shortened it. I don't know if you Did noticed. you? I yeah. didn't notice. No. Yeah. I actually went into the script and I was like, let's just cut this piece okay. out. And let's, yeah. Okay. I'm, st I'm trying to like make it more of a smooth. streamline. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm exactly. transitioning. I'm a smooth smoothie. Okay. For more info on us, visit njbia.org. And some big news, Vin. Oh, here we go. Before we get started today, I got to tell you, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance, who you might remember was our guest on the show a couple of episodes ago. Yeah, Cam Mayo was here. Cam Mayo. Yeah, yeah he was their first marketing director after a, like 100 years of doing business. Yeah. Um, they are now an official sponsor of the show. So people are actually yeah. paying us to do this now. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> except for Michelle Sakurka who pays us. We, we appreciate yeah. that. Thank yes. you, Michelle. <laughs> I actually <laughs> particularly appreciate that. We do. Um, so thank you to Michelle and to New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance. They do home, auto, and workers' comp. Their prices are outrageously good. Yeah. And when you call customer service, an actual person answers the phone. That's so, always nice. I know, right? So if you have not yet checked them out, you absolutely should. And I just want people to know that we're not selling out our integrity and our ideals here <laughs> because we've wanted to sell out our integrity and our ideals since episode one. That's exactly right. In fact, yeah. in the episode with Cam Mayo, we were talking about how much we wanted to sell out. Um, <laughs> there dropping was, names. Yeah, we were dropping Porsche, Tesla, Chanel. Gucci, Chanel. Yeah, we had all these companies that we wanted to sponsor us so that maybe I could have a free car show up in my driveway. We didn't quite get there, no. but you know, NJM is great. <laughs> 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 Wait, and didn't you have like an actual plan? We were gonna yes. get big, sell yes. out. The, okay, so if you watch <laughs> South Park, they have the business model on there, which is um, start up, right. sell out, cash in and bro down. Right. And I that was the plan. We wanted to party <laughs> out like right from the I beginning. I honestly cannot wait yeah. for the broing down. I'm, I'm totally down for the broing down. <laughs> so today on the show, we have Daniela Velez, who's one of our coworkers here at NJBIA. Daniela, say hello. Tell us a little about yourself. Hello everyone. So yes, my name is Daniela Velez and I am one of the recruitment associates here for NJBIA. Um, a little about myself. So I was born and raised in Caracas, Venezuela. So um, Spanish is my first language and English is my second. Um, I've been here for since 2002, so about 15 years. Currently a Rutgers student in the business school. Um, majoring in supply chain management. And also something interesting about myself is I'm a competitive power lifter. Ooh. So yeah, you know, I live at the gym. If I'm not at work or school, I'm at the gym. I gotta say that watching your videos on Instagram is always very inspiring. <laughs> I'm watching you deadlift like hundreds and hundreds of pounds. You're so, no, it's like 300. 300 pounds. So, it, like, that's ridiculous. It's like yeah. three times your own body weight. You're, you're deadlifting. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but um, it's fun in competition. So, like, in comps, you get to test basically your max. And, you know, I'm getting ready to compete back in May. And it's like beating the numbers I set back in September. So, you know, it should be interesting to see how much. It's very inspiring, I have to say. I'm in awe of you sometimes. Absolutely oh, in awe of you. you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm in awe of the t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she posts these <laughs> photos on Instagram of her, and she's got her mean game face on, like, ooh, I am tough. Yes. And she wears these t-shirts with these cartoon dinosaurs. Yes. It's adorable. And the socks. Let's the not socks. forget the socks. She's got these, like, knee-high turquoise socks on. They're just hilariously yeah. adorable. Meanwhile, she's got the game face. It's, it's ridiculous. But you have to have, like, a cool outfit. So, yeah, my t-shirts always have to represent something. You know, my last one was, like, a dinosaur t-shirt. I don't know what I might wear. So if anyone has suggestions on what cartoon to wear for the next comp. <laughs> I love it. Please drop them. Are you accepting t-shirts via mail? I am. Okay. I am. I Excellent. am. I'm a small, you know, just letting small. everyone know. <laughs> small. You just a bunch of episodes size. ago, we were saying we should merchandise the show and make t-shirts. Right? Maybe we'll make her another people's business t-shirt and she can take it to the gym. That's an excellent yeah. idea. A, if, if it's going to be a cartoon one, we need like a mascot for the show. Oh we do. God. Yeah, so we'll have to put some thought into that. Exactly. Like something That's, adorable yeah. and cute. You know what? Shout out, <laughs> shout out to Mike Sanchez, who did the logo artwork for the show. I wonder if he could come up with, you know, and, a and dinosaur for BIA? And, 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 hedgehog. And, hedgehog. Yeah. Oh, we definitely That's an need a hedgehog. That's joke. With BIA, we love our hedgehogs. <laughs> we do. Shout yeah. out to Michelle Sikarka. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that then, awesome. And then I would just represent the company in every competition. I love like it. <laughs> I'll be like competing nationally. They'll be like, what is she wearing? I love Who, it. Who's sponsoring her? And I'm like, no, I work here. Like, <laughs> it's a hedgehog. Don't you get it? How do you not understand what this exactly. means? Exactly. Then they'll think NJBIA sponsors powerlifters. <laughs> like, 
you know? Love it. Oh my God, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, so today's icebreaker is, what is mankind's greatest achievement? Food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> I was considering the triple cheeseburger. I thought wow. was, the triple cheeseburger was a big improvement over the double cheeseburger. But you know, I the bacon double cheeseburger. Oh, that's. I mean, right. if we're gonna talk about See, food, I don't eat red meat though. I only eat that's right. Yeah. Dan, what? For everybody on the air, Daniela has never eaten a cheeseburger, never. and it's not out of some kind of like you know uh, objection or dietary or whatever. She's just never done it before. It's like I've never had bacon. Yeah. What? Yeah. How do well, I not she, know yeah, this about you? She, you had turkey bacon, right? Which I've is totally turkey. not real. But it's not the same. But it's bacon. It's no, turkey it's not. Bacon. It's, no, not. it's, it's, it's completely, not yeah. bacon. We should do a survey. Yeah. I promise you bacon will <laughs> <Yeah>. win. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you bacon yeah. will win. So to me, it's food. So but why don't you eat red meat if it's not for like religious or dietary? or? So I was a vegetarian. Oh, my goodness. About what? four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I was a vegetarian for a very long time. And then when I started getting into lifting, you needed my trainer was like, so you need protein. And you know, it was either do I continue to be a vegetarian or, you know, sell my soul to the gym and mm -hmm. start eat chi eating chicken. So I was like, all right, you know, let's break diet. It took forever though to like get my body accustomed to eating chicken again. Sure. But, yeah. but why still no red meat? Why no I bacon? I don't know. It just, it, it's weird. I don't know. I, I've never You've never had a steak. Never. Oh, you're so missing out. What? It's so lame and young. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but I just, see, I was a vegetarian for so long, and then I was like, okay, I'll eat chicken, and then I haven't stepped away, and I'll just wait. Okay, so I have so many chicken. questions. I'm yeah, sorry. Go I'm gonna ahead. hijack the show go for a second. <laughs> so when you were a little girl, mm -hmm. and your mom was like making macaroni and cheese for dinner yeah. and whatever. I mean, my mom made me bologna roll-ups as we established <laughs> in episode two. Me. Don't don't start with that. <laughs> I was cracking up when I heard that, and I'm like, what is she eating? Like, I'm like, yeah. Google.com. What is there's, You won't find it on Google. I gagged wasn't. a little bit just at the thought of it. Horrible. <laughs> horrible. But so you didn't eat, your mom didn't make you any kind of meat when you were little? So she did try, but I just would not eat it. So I think after like second Hamburger grade. Hamburger helper, nothing, nothing like that? After second grade, my mom kind of just gave up and was like, okay, you're not going to eat meat. Then, you know, we'll fill your dietary needs with high proteins and all of that. Lots and of then beans and eggs, huh? Lots of beans and eggs. You know, Spanish people love beans, so I was okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bean family. I love beans. Oh Rice God. and beans, go to. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, in high school it was the same thing. They're like, you're a vegetarian? You don't eat um, meat? And I'm like, no. And then it was basically when I met my trainer, my trainer was like, well, this is what you need to eat to do what you know you want to do to power lift, um, to build your muscles, to get stronger. You need protein. So he was like, you need to decide. Do you want to eat meat or, you know? Wow. Okay. So, yeah. so I told her, we got, I got to be there for the first time. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to come too, I, mean, I think it should be a bacon double cheeseburger. Yeah. Well, he said we were going to. What was it? All right. So I said the next time we do an event in Bridgewater, we should go to Shake Shack. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they make bacon double cheeseburgers there. But. We. I'm I would sure die. Order, I'm sure. We I can. need like a but little I mean, baby step like, in. Uh -uh. You know, uh -uh. Yes. Uh -uh. You're it's, trying to kill me. No. We have this on record. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Be great. You'll here's love what it. I'm thinking. She's got to eat the cheeseburger first, and then separately she's got to eat bacon, and then we can put them together. Because like if you're just eating bacon as part, you're not gonna get how awesome you're right. bacon is. You're absolutely <laughs> right. You need, oh my god, yeah. I can't wait to feed you bacon. I know, right? I'm really looking forward yeah. to it all of a sudden. It's just like, you know, you have a small child and you're like, I get to be there the first time you eat bacon. And you, you just have this look in your eyes like, oh, I can't wait to see the look. It really is. It's like yeah. watching them experience the zoo for the first time yes. or taking them to Great Adventure for the first so time. You're going to have so much fun. See, I can't wait. you just guys admitted to Jane that I am the child of the company. Like, Jane it's like, hi, child. How are you? And I'm like, all right, you know, this. this That's is, hilarious. This yeah. Is shout out to Jane. Yeah. I guess she she calls ref refers to you as the child. Yes, yeah. because she used to refer to me as the baby of the company, <laughs> and then it became I her. Didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Hi, child. <laughs> I'm like, hi, Jane. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. So food is mankind's greatest achievement? Yeah, do you have a yes. specific food? Like, what do you mean? Like, food has kind of always existed. We just needed to hunt yeah. for it or pick it off the vine and well, eat it, right? I think because, you know, in the Latino culture, there's so many countries and everyone, you know, you have black beans and every country does black beans differently. Mm. And it's just amazing. Like, in I see what you Honduran mean. culture, the beans are, like, smashed and then fried. 
made wild in Venezuelan culture, you know, our black beans are made with like onions and mm-hmm. people, you know, it's, so it's different um, taste, different sure. ways of cooking. Um, so yeah, to me, it's just how humans have been able to develop food. And That's interesting yeah. that you say that because I've always thought that it's amazing that every culture basically has some kind of peasant food that 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 is the same and it, like you've got pizza it's basically bread and cheese and a little sauce i didn't think that was a peasant food but okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like street food it is uh, it is right. Be, yeah. you know and in um I, i'm just letting you know right now i make like two billion dollars in the lottery i'm still eating pizza you know? <laughs> that's fine whatever <laughs> but and and then you've got like tacos which is kind of the same ingredients you've, it's like a starch it's uh, some meat it's kind of some cheese do you yes, know what i mean like but every, every culture country has, has a different taco like mm-hmm. mexican right, tacos are not the same mm-hmm. or tamales so you know mm-hmm. like for us in venezuela we don't eat tamales we eat um um, ayacas, you know, that's what we call basically our tamales. So it's different and it tastes so good. So yeah, and you know, food. Yes, and okay. then Indian food too. Shout out I to love Indian, food. Indian food. Indian food is amazing. Uh-huh. Curry, I have chicken. a recipe for chicken yes. tikka masala. I don't oh, cook. So good. I eat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cook. <laughs> I was going to say, when we take you out for uh, burgers, you could take me out. I've never had Indian food. So. <gasps> Ooh, that's good uh, stuff. Mm. You're missing out, man. I, Seriously. I'm, I'll yeah. try anything once, so oh I'm, my I'm game. You know? yeah. Nice. It's spicy food. It's uh. good. All right, yes. so what do you think is mankind's greatest achievement then? Well, so now that I've missed out on the uh, the double cheeseburger because I don't want to copy. Well, I was thinking about it. I, I was going to go either with the invention of the cathode ray tube slash television by Philo Farnsworth. Wow. Or the invention of the personal computer by Steve Wozniak. And I think I'm going to go with the computer because if you think about the way that that changed the world, mm-hmm. um, the way we share information, the way we live our lives now, it's it's all through so computers. It's funny that you mentioned that because um, I was in comp applications for business last night in the class and we were talking about like the first computers mm-hmm. and you know they were like talking about coding and like the old desktop and how even before Apple came about it, like how it was like old coding and people had to actually like, read a manual yeah, yeah. The, and the pieces of paper that exactly. got punched in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like um, they were talking about like the first computer also like was from Philly or you know I can't remember the mm. name. Let's see, wow. I should have brought my. They notes. showed them in Hidden Figures if you saw that movie. Yeah, um, that's yes. NASA and, uh, that movie's was amazing. Was it Octavia Spencer's character? Yeah, Octavia Spencer's character, right? Was um, she had to learn how to use the what was it? the IBM. Uh, Something train. Uh, I don't know. I, I watched... keep thinking Soul Train, and I'm like, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie with a really talkative friend, so I honestly have uh, no idea. You need know. to you need to rewatch <laughs> I it. I do. I do have to rewatch it. It's amazing. It. It's mm-hmm. a really good movie. Totally yeah. agree. Watch the movie if you guys haven't watched it, mm-hmm. and read the book. Oh, I didn't read the book, but yeah, the, the movie is, is amazing. Yeah. It is. We should give a shout out to the book club and put that <gasps> book for next time. Right. So yeah, NJBIA has a book club, and uh, once every like six months, it seems like. I mean, we, we <laughs> set a date, and then it gets pushed back, and then it gets pushed back. So yeah, yeah. Today was the day of our uh, book club meeting, and we picked a book for next time. But maybe we should really lobby hard for hidden figures. Mm-hmm. I'm always the. I whenever uh, we get around to like recommending a book, it, the ones that pop in my head are always the ones that are based on movies because that's the kind of stuff I read. I'm like. I love these movies. I want to know what the book it came yeah. from was like. And then I'm always like, oh, they're not going to want to do that. <laughs> so which one would you recommend yeah, then? what were you going to say? Um, one of my favorite books would be like The Princess Bride. I don't know if you, have you ever, you're giving me this weird look. Like, <laughs> you're giving me this weird look like you don't even know the movie. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. You don't know the movie? Oh. I'm getting exposed you, on this podcast so right now. Joking? You no, don't know the I movie? I really don't know the movie. Oh. It's like the most famous movie alive. Yeah. I mean, not alive. Is either. it? <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're both masterpieces and for different well, reasons like the book is very funny yes. and the movie is very funny but not in the same ways like the right. humor style is very different okay. so yeah. have you read it I tried to read it ah. I did not like it and mm. I don't know I was going through like a post wave feminist phase I guess and I didn't like the book because buttercup was not proactive. Everything Wait. that happened in the book er- happened to her. Someone's called Buttercup <laughs> in the book. Okay, okay, sorry. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, so, so yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I know you have no respect for the actress. It's Robin Wright. Time out. (laughs) Time out. Robin Wright plays the character, and yeah, I don't know how this came to be, but her name is Butter. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God, Danielle is like, you gringos are messed up. Wow. (laughs) That has to be the 
funny. I'm gonna lend you the movie. You're gonna like it. I promise. You are. You're gonna like it. I keep thinking of a children's movie in my head. Well, it is Let a children's movie. Yeah. Like, like, it is basically a children's movie. It is. It's. It is. It's a okay. fairy but tale. But it's very well done. With sword fighting giants, okay. you know. True love. Poisoned uh, cups. Sounds like yeah. Disney, though. It wasn't. It does sound like Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. MGM. But anyway, anyway. what was your pick for <laughs> All right, so <laughs> It's so terrible. It's very benign. But the thing that I thought of um, first was the remote control. You know, the universal remote control, also invented by Steve Wozniak. Really? Yeah, this just, guy was amazing. You just know these facts. I like yeah. him. Yeah. Were you telling me the other day that he was like the real work behind, like Steve Jobs was a hack or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to go it's into not that a very theory? popular thing for people to talk about, but yeah. Um, so I read Steve Wozniak's autobiography years ago. It's right. amazing. I was, if you ever feel like reading something like that. Book club recommendation. Yeah, book right? club recommendation. <laughs> and he talks about how basically he did all the work, and uh, jo Steve Jobs' job, Steve Jobs' job, <laughs> was to uh, call different people and get funding and stuff and help them get the parts they needed to make the the computer but yeah I remember coming away from that and being like wow so what did you do <laughs> like, you know, Wozniak could have asked his mom for the money for all it matters wow yeah that's terrible yeah I know he, everybody thinks of him as this big visionary but yeah. maybe I should read Jobs' autobiography next and he'll make it out like Wozniak was the one you know that would be interesting you should yeah. totally do that and compare and then, too yeah. and report back and report there's been back. a bunch of movies lately too I missed them all I missed them uh, all I, one yeah. of them was in Netflix and I was like yeah. do I want to watch it and yeah. then I ended up watching something else I gave up I was like mm, no I watched one of them it was the one about his daughter I don't know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm not really giving you yeah. much to work no, with, huh? No, I have no idea. Really. Yeah, he, I mean, it portrayed him accurately, I think, as being kind of a jerk, because mm. that's his reputation. He was not a very nice guy, and he was really not very nice to his daughter's mother, um, which was a shame, I guess, but par for the course, given who he was. Yeah. I mean, he was kind of a jerk. I mean, Wozniak's biography talks about how um, Jobs kind of screwed him out of a lot of money, so... Oh. Damn, doesn't really? sound like a great guy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I always think of when I think of Wozniak? He dated Kathy Griffin. At one point, that's like, awesome. Like, <laughs> good for him and good for her. Like good that. For her. <laughs> like it, they, they seem on paper to be such a mismatched couple. I know, right? But I will admit that I used to love my life on the D list. Oh, I never that? saw it. No. Oh, oh, I you know never what you're saw about. it. I never saw it. Yeah, I have no idea. <gasps> Kathy Griffin's uh, short-lived reality show. Oh, okay. It's fantastic. Mm. And he was on a couple of episodes when they were dating. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> you gotta go on YouTube.com yeah. and Google this. And, and they like, had such an adorable rapport. Like, they were really cute together. <laughs> it was kind of fun to watch. That's sweet. I know. <laughs> So we went from like the remote to a reality TV yeah. show. I, I love it. I know. Had to. So how has the remote control improved your life? Oh my gosh, you don't have to stand up to do like to change anything sure. anymore. Mm -hmm. It used to, I remember like I grew up in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> we did not have a remote control when I, I was... I can't even fathom that. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. You guys are not that much younger than me, so just yeah. button it, okay? Oh, As my hey. mother would I'm say. I'm shocked that that's, that's when it. it came around. Like, I would have thought they had the remote control So since they the did. Beginning. No. Since the beginning. They mm -hmm. were invented, I guess, in the 70s, but they were very expensive as, you know, new technology always yeah. is. And so my parents didn't get an actual TV that came with a remote control until, mm -hmm. like, the mid-80s. Oh, wow. And when that happened, they moved the crappy TV down to the basement, which was the playroom, and they put the new nice TV in the <laughs> living room where they could use it, obviously. That's what I would do. Um, and so I was always, you know, having to walk over to the television to change it. Mm. So it was now, like a little knob? It was a knob that you had to change like that. Oh, see? And, of course, there was no cable TV <clears throat> either, or if there was, we didn't have it. And so there were really, there was like four channels. <laughs> Had PBS, ABC, CBS, and NBC. Four channels. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Oh this is one of those really short-lived <laughs> technologies in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, you exactly. think about it in 10 years from now, right. people will be like, what's a remote control? Oh, they <laughs> use my voice to control everything. That's yeah. crazy. They use like Sonos and like, the, we'll new like Amazon, the new yeah. Amazon. <laughs> Alexa, <laughs> right? Alexa, turn yeah. the TV on. Yeah. <laughs> you probably just turned the TV on in my house at exactly. this point. Exactly. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Hmm. All right. So I guess we should... Uh, do a little bit of business, right? Daniela, sure. what do you do for NJBIA? So what do I do for NJBIA? So um, I do recruitment. Uh, my goal is to bring new members to the association. 
but it's also to bring more of the Latino business owner market. So um, we want our association to represent um, how New Jersey is. So not just bringing the Latino business owners, but you know, African American, um, Asians, Indians, every <clears throat> minority that's in the state of New Jersey who has a business, getting them the exposure to what NJBIA has to offer from you know the NJM insurance to the new healthcare benefit solutions that we offer to all our affinity partner programs, which you know, you've had some of our affinity partners here already on the podcast. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the goal is to bring the diversity of the business owners into the association. That's great. Yeah. So you basically help people figure out if membership is, is something that would make sense for them. And then once you determine that it is, you help them join. Yes, exactly. And like the um, exciting thing with BIA is we're being able to do it bilingually. So we've done videos in Spanish and English. Yeah, it's always a fun time. <laughs> So Thank I you. edit together the videos that Daniela shoots in Spanish. If you think video editing is hard, <laughs> wait till you try video editing in a language you don't understand. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, you do fantastic yeah. in all of them. Yeah. yeah, so, and then, you know, being able to, um, our applications, you know, we have them in Spanish and English, and then our slogan for um, NJBIA for a business like, like mine. mine, you know, having it in Spanish, um, NJBIA para un negocio como el mío. So, you know, related to- That sounds to, better, actually. It does. We should put that it's on beautiful. instead of- beautiful. <laughs> You make just it sound have everyone yeah. say it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it's it's been a really fun project, um, you know, being here at BIA over a year now. I was just going to say, how long have you been with BIA? Yeah, a year and a couple of months. My year was in July. Wow. And... Wait, it's January, so more than a couple months. Yeah. A year and a half now. A year and a half now, mm -hmm. yes. You know, my goodness, time flies. No kidding. Yeah, so you know, I'm um, excited to see how much um, we can grow and bring um, the information out there. So you know, also maybe do a podcast in Spanish. You never know. Hey, hey. I mean, so okay, imagine? well, <clears throat> I'm game for it. I don't know how good I'd <laughs> be at it. It could just be you. I, I can would, say hola. <laughs> we would be doing <laughs> Spanish guests. Actually, I think we actually do have a couple other people we in do. the building who speak Spanish. So maybe Kate and I could take a step back for that one. Oh. And, uh, um, Gonzo, Gonzo, Gonzo. Uh, Francisco Gonzo. Gonzalez yeah. speaks Spanish. Speaks Spanish. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else. Is um, Does Lynette speak Spanish? I, I don't uh, know. I don't know if she does fluently. I believe she understands some. Yeah. But, you know, huh? hey, that hey. so could be fun. Yeah. We're growing, we you are. know, with our different even partners and different, you mm -hmm. know, people. We can even bring Dana from NJM. Who knows? She speaks Ooh, Spanish. That's a great idea. Right. Shout out to NJM, yeah. uh, the sponsor of this show. Yes. Brought to you by NJM. That's Insurance right. Group. Exactly. You see? You see? I love so. it. <laughs> Fabulous. OK, so I think we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, awful or awesome. Cool. Okay, we're back, and it is now time to play Awful or Awesome, which is a game that faithful listeners know well. I'm going to name three things, and then we each have to declare them to be either Awful or Awesome and be prepared to defend your answers. Got it. Ready? Let's do it. All right, so first up, Apple. And Awful. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Wait, before we go, is it Apple like the fruit or Apple no, the company? <laughs> I was just going to say, to clarify, I'm talking because about... Because you just had Apple. The like, there was company. no emoji or anything. Like, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. Apple the company. <laughs> the, the, the producer of the iPhone. Yeah. So, Vin, you say awful. Yeah. Although, Apple the fruit. Very it's good. awesome. Very good. Apple I love peanut apples. butter. Yeah, especially Ooh, the yes. peanut butter. Like, oh. I like the green sour ones, you know? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Granny yeah. Smith. See, yeah. I was Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> they do have a name. You just call them the Green Sour <laughs> yeah, the Green Sour. No, I do. I did know the Granny Smith thing. It's it slipped my mind. But yeah. Right. No, um, Apple, the computer company, I'm going to say is awful. Yeah. yeah. Way overpriced for you know computers that if you were to buy PCs, you could get like twice the power for the money you would spend on a Mac. Um, I think the the concept that they are are trying to produce computers that are basically made for people who don't know how to use computers was probably great. X years ago. Today, you really should know how to use a computer. Yeah. 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 Um, on the phone side, I don't mind as much. I personally don't have an iPhone, but like I know my mom needs one. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> needs to know what you're doing a little bit more yeah. to have a droid. Yeah. Yeah. So, Peggy. Yeah. Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I would have to agree with you. I am not a fan of the of Apple, the company, um, not because I have any kind of technological ability to determine whether the Apple computer is better than a PC. I learned on a on a Mac 
Um, oh, we all did. Back yeah. in the day. Right, yeah. right. Remember the Oregon Trail? On yes! The yeah. That's what they thought was going to be you the have wave no of the idea future. What we're talking about. Of we had you Dells. Have no idea. Uh, you had Dells. Wow. <laughs> we had Dells. But, yeah. like, it's literally been 25 years since that time, and mm. there's I could I could not function on a Mac right now. Mm. There's, there's no way. Mm. Um, but the thing I don't like about Apple is the, um, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and, and say it, the, the legalized tax evasion that they participate in, mm. um, you know, by keeping yeah. their money offshore. I we think are it's scorching Apple. I know. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry. Calling Steve Jobs a hat. Exactly. Calling like, stuff overpriced. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I think you know, as you said, Wozniak is a genius. Oh yeah. But um, I think if for nothing else. Exactly. That's it. Control, right? Universal remote control. Right? Universal yes. remote control. Yes. The control. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, but Apple, the company, I'm not a huge fan of. What do you think? So the iPhone, I'm a fan of. Mm. I've had an iPhone. Um, so yeah. Um, Overpriced, there's no way I'm buying an 8 or the, the X. 10 or the, the X, 10. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, there's no way. Yeah, because they skipped 9 it's, in there. Somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah. called college tuition. Like, I need to pay for school. <laughs> like, there's no way. You know, I sit at Rutgers and people have, like, the new iPhone, and I'm just like, how, man? Yeah. Like, Are how? Are drug dealers? Exactly. How did you get this money? Well, it's always Share like, the wealth. <laughs> yeah. Sponsor me. Give me a new iPhone. But They're yeah, always all about these features, and they're like, look, we're introducing wireless charging. And you're like, well, on the droid side, we've had that for a long time. Yeah, I figure. Yeah, you know, I was yep. like, I know people who have it. Why are we just hyping that up mm. right now? But anyway, right. so I'm faithful to the iPhone. iPhone. Um, as for the computers, no way. I hate them. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, no, I'm, they're not interesting. They're too small, first of all, like the screen, the little ones. Yeah. And they're so thin, and I'm just like, I feel like it'll break in my bag, for mm -hmm. starters, with everything mm -hmm. I have to carry. And I just don't Apple like... Care, right? Yeah. yeah, and I just, I don't <laughs> like the Mac setup. You know, my sister has one, and she loves it, and I just, I can't get around with it. So, I prefer Windows. You yeah, know, yeah me too. So. Rock on. Kate, yeah. where do you fall on the uh, fruit? Yeah, fruit. On the fruit, I love apples. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Uh, we had to, we had to all be together in that mm -hmm. one. Yeah, so we all love apples the fruit, and we all hate Apple the company. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mine is just the iPhone myself, because right, you guys whatever. don't have one, but yeah. I you guys did. are green I text, yeah. and I, when I text you guys, like green, and then I'm blue, uh, and it's yeah. just like, it's not fun. Do you know what I do like about the iPhone? So when you get a text, you can like hold your thumb down, and you can like it, or yeah. love it. I really enjoy that feature. Yeah, I do that to her all the time. Yes, because <laughs> Droid users just get a little text, Daniela loved, and then in, in quotation marks. I've never seen marks, that. Never seen no. out, yeah, I'll it is you. hilarious. I remember the first time I got one of those, I was like, why is Daniela telling me that she loves my text? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about herself in the third person. <laughs> Yeah, so, so like you hold the text and like there's little like emojis so you can yeah. love it. You can put thumbs up, thumbs yeah. down, uh, ha ha, exclamation nuts? point or a question mark. Uh. So you technically don't have to text the person back. You can just say in them like, oh, question mark. What do you mean with that text? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It is kind of fun, but yeah. it's and then our emojis are amazing, though. So whatever. Keep they it. Are. I mean, we have those Just too, right? Like, yeah, of course we do. Weird. No. Like, yes, they are. Shut up. Actually, I always get really <laughs> paranoid about that when I text somebody an emoji because even within droids, like you go from phone to phone and they look totally different. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, wait, what is? To me, it looks like this. <laughs> what does she think? I'm texting her. You know, like, true. Yeah. True story. <laughs> there are some universal emojis, though. They are, but like the, the they way they're designed weird. looks so different. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. no, that's a little differently than what I meant yeah. on that on the other phone. You know? True. So, yeah. True story. Mm. All right. Um, the Kardashians Awful. is the next. <laughs> you didn't even need me to Awful. finish saying. Of course. <laughs> no fruit on that one. <laughs> what? What are the Kardashians? Who? What? I don't watch. Yeah. yeah no. Good for you. Don't yeah. buy into that. It was like on my Twitter feed, though. I logged in, and it was like one of them apparently had a baby and named him Chicago. So I'm just Shut like, <laughs> I'm like, so we have North. Oh I don't know God. the other Saint and now we have Saint. Chicago wow. so you Chicago know Chicago for okay. real yeah I've seen worse uh, Chris Martin named his kid what was it one was named Apple, Apple yeah. and the other one was named Moses yeah uh, that's horrible yeah. it is horrible yeah no it's um, I don't Nick want. Cage didn't he name his kid Kal El yeah Superman's alien name yeah Okay. And Frank Zappa, didn't he? he moon unit. Moon unit. Moon unit. Yeah. That's yeah. horrible. It is horrible. It's like, yeah. imagine kind of if your parent just named you Chicago. Like, hi, I'm Chicago. Like, right? What? Yeah, it's so mean. no, they're It's awful. not even a terribly pretty sounding city. No. Yeah, it's no, awful. so, yeah, no. I don't, I, I think, I'll admit, maybe saw one full episode a long time ago. 
Mm-hmm. And that was when there was no Caitlyn Jenner. It was just oh. Chris Jenner. No, and, and Bruce. 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 Bruce yeah. Jenner. Yeah. So, but no, I give up. I just I can't. Yeah, I, I think they're awful. I hate everything that they represent, and I just. <laughs> what is it that they represent? Nothing. This, this but they have yeah. They okay. just represent money. <laughs> right. I was gonna say they represent this crass nouveau riche. Mm culture where we all we do is we worship the celebrity culture that is why just, are they famous ugh. in the first place though like well, what I will tell you did? but like, it's, it's inappropriate yeah, just the, yeah yeah it's uh, okay so Kim was in a sex tape yeah and that's how she became that's famous that's why they're famous, that's yeah. why they're famous. Yeah. I honestly yes. thought because I, I recently saw the uh, I say recently like a few months ago that um the miniseries on the OJ trial mm, and yeah. their dad right. was Robert the Kardashian lawyer. was the lawyer that's yeah. right and then there was a scene where you see the kids yeah. and they're like introducing the dad to the world and I'm like wait is that why they're famous no, no. They, yeah okay so they yeah. actually that's did, a footnote yeah okay she was in a sex tape and she was somehow able to catapult that into, into fame yeah into keeping it up with the Kardashians that's right and then spinoffs whatever and came makeup lines and then and, right. you know an 18 year old that has way more money than I never will. I know. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a sad. It's so world. disappointing. Like, aren't you disappointed in our I culture? I am actually. Like, really? That's yeah. that's awful. Yeah. yeah. And apparently, they're all pregnant. I think all four, three sisters. I don't know. There's five yeah. sisters. I think. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So yeah, fun it's stuff. Awful. Yeah. yeah. Don't I'm go, go on with Twitter. Awful too. I've never actually watched yeah. the show either. Don't so. go on Twitter today. Don't go on Twitter Why? today. January nineteenth, because all you'll see is Kardashians had a baby. Uh, that is that the today? Chicago one, or is there? Is yeah, there, that's okay. the one. I think Kim mm-hmm. just had one and named him, name him or her. I don't know what it is. So Chicago just, West. Chicago West. So okay. we have a Northwest. Or is it Car- Chicago Kardashian West? No, no. It's Chicago okay. West. Just Chicago West. Yeah. Okay. Fun stuff. Beautiful. That's horrible. Great names. Great all right, names. so we are all agreed. Apple and the Kardashians, all three awful. of us think are all awful. <laughs> awful. awful. Um, okay, but I'm going to put the Kardashians as more awful. Oh, yeah. Apple. I, I don't want too. them to stand shoulder to shoulder. Wait. I think that's a new thing. We should yes. rate them, which yes. is the most <laughs> awful. the most objectively of today's? awful. Yes. Yeah. The Kardashians. I love it. And okay. we're still all in agreement that Apple, the fruit, <laughs> is <laughs> leading a pack in terms of I was awesome. not sure. <laughs> there was no clarification. Okay. You just said Apple. Oh, sure. my God. I went to the fruit. Right. I, you know? Fine. <laughs> I just okay. that's where right, I went. The third, one? the third one is Rubik's cubes. <sighs> ah, hmm. Yeah. I haven't touched a Rubik's cube in like a decade. Right. Maybe even longer. I don't but know. when you last touched one, were you filled with frustration and anger? Probably. Yeah. 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 Exactly. What about you? They're fun. Shut up. Yeah, they <laughs> are. <laughs> They're fun. So one of my cousins, um, shout out to Gio, he loves solving them, you know? So he's actually able to solve it? Yeah, he's actually able to solve it. But <laughs> he just... I don't know, learned, I guess. I can't. Um, I don't know. But yeah, they're fun. It, they do get frustrated, though. Yeah. But I like messing them up and then giving it to somebody for them to fix it. And then seeing them how frustrated they get. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> then, the, you know. Wow. But, yeah. Especially if it's something that they already exactly. have like, on their desk and you mess it up. Because if you just hand somebody a messed up Rubik's Cube, I'm going to be like, yeah, whatever. Not going to lie. I did that one time in high school. One of my old school high school professors had a Rubik's Cube. And mm. we were just sitting there. And I was like, hey, can I, you know, um, use it? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he didn't think I was just going to mess it up. He thought I was just going to. What did gonna you think you were going to do when you said, can I use it? Can <laughs> I play just with like, this? Mire it. When you have I'm going to admire it. Done, yeah. Huh? Did it start done and you messed yeah, it up in order? I was like, yeah. I it up. And my professor, oh, his name was Mr. Refrano. He was like, shout out to Mr. Refrano. Shout out yeah. to Mr. Refrano, BCIT, West Hampton. Um, he was like, what did you do? And I was like, I don't know. I was bored. Oh my god. Is it possible to mess them up so badly that they can't be fixed? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh. I, cause I, I hope I didn't do that. That's the thing. Like, I guess when I was younger, I must have screwed them up way too much, and then there was just no coming back. Yeah. <laughs> yes, me too. And I, every time I saw them all messed up, I was just like, this will never be fixed. It will never be perfect again. Mm. Yeah. That's I was awful. okay. I was okay with getting one wall of color, and that was it. Like, no. that was my achievement. Okay, I got one wall. So I was so frustrated with it, I considered taking off all the stickers and reapplying <laughs> Wow. <laughs> or maybe painting them or right, something, right? Right, right. Yeah. But the reason I didn't do that is because I didn't think I would be able to like, put them back perfectly the way that they uh, should yeah. have been. You can never reapply it. I know. They always that's start peeling off. That's exactly right. You can't. All right, so did you go? I, I'm, we're awful. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm awful. Too. All right. It's, it's wow. Awesome. I don't think that's ever happened before. All three items on this list. No, because there was the fruit. Yeah, the fruit. <laughs> but the fruit was 
not officially okay. on the list. It was not an official thing. <laughs> All right. Should we rate these? So I think the Kardashians are at the top of the awful list. Sure. Yes. Apple the company is no. middle. Okay, yes. sure. Sure, yeah. yeah. And then Rubik's Cubes are third awful. Yeah, yeah. third awful. That is amazing that we just did that. Okay. All right, Daniela, how can people get in touch with you? So you guys can email me. Um, do I get my email? Yes, you can. If you want. Maybe not your phone number or your sign or your Facebook. Your sign. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Your face is so red We've right now. We've completely gone off the rails. <laughs> this is the best episode ever. So, Danielle, for a second, pretend I'm a company that wants to reach out and join in JBI. So, Danielle, <laughs> Daniela's email address is dvelez at njbia.org. Velez is spelled V E L E Z. <laughs> Apparently the funniest email address of all time because you can't even oh breathe. Oh my god, I think that might be our show with Daniela unable to breathe. No, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Alright, so. She needs a minute. Oh my god. You okay? <laughs> okay. I think that might be our show. That's our show. <laughs> So we would love it if you would subscribe to us on iTunes. Um, we already we, we just trashed Apple, but absolutely, absolutely, if you are listening to us on iTunes, please subscribe. Please leave us a five star review on iTunes. Even if you don't listen to us on iTunes, just if you have an iTunes account, we've all had iTunes accounts at some point I still in our have life. One. I pop too. into iTunes and give us a five star review. It would really help the show. The more five star reviews we get, the more iTunes will push the show out to other people. You know what? I thought of one redeeming quality for Apple the company. Good, because they moderate these things. So I'm sure at this point they've already I rejected the, uh, yeah. this <laughs> So they created podcasts. Like the word podcast comes from the word iPod, right? Oh. Probably, yeah. Yeah, so we, podcasts wouldn't exist without Apple. And podcasts okay. are amazing. Podcasts yeah. are amazing. Yeah. So I will say that the iPod was objectively awesome. Yeah, the iPod you know, was amazing. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. I, I didn't like back. when they kind of merged it into the phone. I mean, yeah. yes, in theory, it was better that you know you didn't have to carry around those two items. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But but to have your whole music library with you on the go. Remember it's awesome. when you had to like yeah. download illegally, like using LimeWire? I don't know or... what you're talking about. Yeah. Excuse me. I, uh, I've you never were, like, done that free. before. I've never life. done that. Yeah. High school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, thank you to subscribers and listeners. We appreciate the support. Thank you to New Jersey Manufacturers for supporting the show. They do home, auto, and workers' comp. If you haven't already checked them out, you absolutely should. I love absolutely. that we're doing commercials yes, now. I know. <laughs> this reminds me of Pod Save America. <laughs> Wow, you're comparing us to a much more established and bigger show. I love it. But it's really funny. The commercials sound just like this. Keep nice. Going. Yeah. Brought to you by... Daniela actually introduced <laughs> me to a show, Cults. And I don't know if you've ever heard of that one, but they, they go over all these cults it's in an real amazing, life. Yeah. It's an amazing show. And they'll Check it introduce, out. like, they'll, they'll be talking about some really dark stuff that these cults do. <laughs> and then in the middle of it, they will just, like, start going off about their sponsor. And it, it just completely doesn't fit. <laughs> it's a like, change of tone. Yeah, yeah it is. It is. It's like, let me remind you of this great new thing I'm yeah. listening to. And then go back into a serial killer and a Yes, cult. exactly, yeah. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I think uh, I think we could keep talking all day, but we should probably, probably wrap it up. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Well, until next time. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>